having worked on so many different projects, how has that changed how you work or what a John Logan script is? I think it's not any different than it was 20 years ago. I think, I think purposely, if you read a John Logan script, you wouldn't necessarily say, oh, that's a John Logan script. I hope you would say, that's a great script. I hope you would say, those are interesting characters. I love that scene. What a surprising moment. That made me cry. That made me laugh. I think the idea of the author's voice for a screenwriter is a sin. The truth you owe is to your characters, not to yourself. If you want to have a true voice as a writer, write a novel, by all means. Write reportage, even. But if you're making characters speak, make them speak from their truth, which is only going to be a version of your truth. You know, and, and the screenwriters I admire most, Ben Hecht, Robert Town, deal in varieties, all sorts of genres. And, and you, there's, there's something about the cadences, perhaps, about what they're interested in that is unique. But, but there's no way the characters from Shampoo talk like the characters from Chinatown. Or in Ben Hecht's case, if you look at the characters from Notorious, they don't talk like the characters from Scarface. You know, they have their unique inner lives that, that the author gets to express. And obviously, once again, to back to the figure that explains why I'm a writer and why I'm sitting here, and that's Shakespeare. And, and you could say to me, I would always know Shakespeare play. I'm like, well, I bet you wouldn't. If I put Ben Johnson, Christopher Marlowe, and Shakespeare, you wouldn't necessarily know. But if you look at the breadth of Shakespeare's work and say, this man created Hamlet, you know, and Rosalind, and Brutus, and Cleopatra, and they're all unique, complete creations out of one mind, you know, that to me is the aspiration of a dramatist as opposed to a, a poet or a prose writer.